Earlier this week, we tore down the Microsoft Surface Studio, and one thing we heard loud and clear was that you wanted to look inside the Surface Dial. The Surface Dial is Microsoft's brand new input device that attaches to the screen of the studio, and it allows users to access menus and make selections using both scroll and click. Want to see inside this thing? Me too. Let's tear it down. How do you get inside the surface dial? Well, you start by removing the rubber foot, which has no visible fasteners. In fact, this thing is held on by magnets. Once inside, you'll find the two AAA batteries that power the puck. With no obvious hints on how to get any further, we break out our prying tools and let's just say the surface dial's solid construction led to some aggressive snapping and a slightly broken midframe. The underside of the battery frame reveals those grippy magnets. There are four magnets evenly spaced around that secure the magnetic cover and provide the dial with a little extra grip on the studio screen. Turning our attention back to the puck, we notice the dial's spinning action and the single access hole that gives us access to each of the T6 screws holding the body into the silver cover. This reveal also makes us doubt our choice of entry into the device. After finding a sneaky sticker on the battery frame, we reveal what could be a plugged access port that would line up with the three screws holding the dial in place. This could potentially be a better way to get into the surface dial. Hopefully Microsoft will let us know for future disassemblies. We unscrew the guts of the puck from the outer casing and pop the bearing apart. A plastic cage for the ball bearings gives the knob a high-end and slightly resistant feel to scrolling. The midframe reveals two springy posts opposite the switch, evening out clicking pressure, making it feel the same no matter where you press. There aren't a ton of chips on the board, but the one we see most readily is the Nordic Semiconductor Bluetooth Low Energy System on Chip. Just like every device we tear down, no matter how large or small, we like to talk about repairability. How did the Surface Dial score? It got a 4 out of 10, and here's why. On the upside, you can swap in ordinary rechargeable AAA batteries in seconds with no tools. While it is durable and repairs are unlikely, the components most likely to fail can't be replaced without damaging the device. But on the downside, the haptic vibration motor is cemented down with some spectacularly tough glue. And finally, you won't be servicing anything here without a guide and courage enough to drill out the plastic plug guarding the single, well-hidden access point. And that's our teardown. For the complete teardown, including tons of beautiful, high-quality images, head on over to ifixit.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on all our latest teardowns and repair videos. You can follow us on Twitter at ifixit and give us a like on Facebook at facebook.com slash ifixit.